Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson, and in this video, what we're gonna discuss are rim weight discs. So what do you know, what do you look for? What's the difference between a $70 discus and a $200 discus? What makes them different? So one of the things we're gonna do in this video is let you know by the end, what kind of discus to pick or select or buy that's gonna help you throw the furthest when it matters most. So today we're gonna to be looking at the Nelco Discus line. Big thanks to Bruce Caldwell at Nelco USA for sending us a really great package, some really cool stuff. Love their bags. As a throws coach or a thrower, one thing you always love is gear. It's always fun to get a bunch of new implements. <laughs> So one of the things though that we wanted to do, we wanted to test them out. We want to find out are they good as they say they are, they're gaining some popularity, how do they feel, what do we like. So I had a handful of my throwers come out, we've tested them out, we've thrown the different series. We're going to go through that here in this video, so check it out. talk about today? It's candy time. Christmas time has come early. So one of the things that we did today is we kind of had our criteria. Durability is one of the things we're looking at. Here in Arizona, or depending on where you throw, we definitely have harder ground. What, even though we throw in a grass field, as we get into the hotter months, the ground gets a little harder. So we went through and compared the Nelcos to some of the other discuses that we've used and used for a lot of years. And the durability is great. Jason has a, a space traveler. He's replaced that place twice. And that plate is already broken in the same time that he's had his Nelco. So we took out, Jason came out, we threw the rim weights. We kind of discussed the different rim fields. We have the different weight. We have our, I believe it's the 67 meter, the 70 and the 75 meter discus ratings are what Jason has and so as we went through and we started throwing today we wanted to look at how they feel how they're holding up how they feel on the hand that's a preference thing things that you like so this is what we did So which, which disc is that? This is gonna be Olympia Super Spin. 67. So you'd like the 67. I like the way it flies. That depends on as far as how the material of the rim. This is gonna be more of gonna be your gold rim weight. It's a great beginner's discus or someone who's gonna be more of your mid-range discus store who's gonna be between like the 160, 180 range. I love it as well as the other ones because of durability and it holds up. So here we have a documentary documentary on making quilts. Here we have the, the Nelco Gold, which would be the rim glide 75 meter discus. It has a great rim weight to it. I actually, this is probably my second favorite of the three discus here. I love the, the weight distribution of the discus, so it flies really well. Here we have my favorite of the three. It's going to be the Nelco Super Spin. It will be the rim glide 70 meter. So this is going to have the silver rim uh, material, which is what I prefer as far as any other discus out there. It is going to still be a high rim weight and it flies really well and I really do love the design as is all the others of the durability of it. Let's see, so we're going to talk about what we have rim feel, then we have the rim weight, and then we're talking about damage, right? We're in Arizona, so we throw on a harder surface. This is still a grass field, but it's a little bit harder. So when we're looking at things like... Here's the Space Traveler. Jason's replaced this plate on the Dempsey Space Traveler two times at a cost of about 70 bucks each time. This is a brand new plate, a replacement plate. This is a problem that they had. And now we've thrown the Nelcos equally and a lot more frequently because we just put that plate in and the Nelcos are holding up no problem. Okay, 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about the Challenger. The Nelco Challenger is essentially like a beginner disc. It's a lower rim rate. It has a 55 meter rating. Roughly, I wanna say it's about 65 or 70% rim weight, which is what a lot of people are used to. The thing that I'm finding interesting about the Nelco is they're rating it based on a different technology, how they're balancing it out. So they're giving it more of the distance rating. So a 55 meter disc is clearly to be able to throw 180 feet. That's an adequate training disc. Now, the general rule, the feedback from most of the athletes, they can definitely feel the difference between the lesser rim weight, the lesser higher spinning discus. So then we had the low spin discus, and that was roughly, I think it's fallen in that 60 meter range disc is what they're calling it now. And again, a lot of my athletes are high school kids and they're pretty proficient at spinning the discus. So most of them can definitely feel the difference and like the feel of the super spin disc, which is a slightly higher rated discus. And personally, I think that the right rim weight to go with most kids that are going to be on the right type of training plan and know how to handle the discus and spin the discus well. I'll get a lot of kids, a certain percentage of kids every year, athletes that start to train with us, they carry the discus wrong and that inhibits their ability to spin the discus. So as we're going through, most of the athletes in my program know how to spin the discus well. Therefore, they could tell the difference between the challenger, the low spin, and the super spin. They like the feel of the super spin better. Generally, they were getting better distances with it. Okay, so now that we're kind of seeing what the discuses look like in action, what should you do and what should you pick? When you're looking to buy discuses, what do you want? Well, first of all, I may have mentioned you want multiple discs. You should start out with at least three to four discs no matter what. And here's what I'm going to suggest your starting pack. Two challengers, a low spin, and a super spin. The reason being the following. When you're a younger thrower and you're developing, you need to learn how to apply pressure for a longer period of time to the discus. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. Why we have different rim weight discs is because the more advanced the thrower, the more force they're gonna be able to apply to the discus and the faster that discus is going to spin. The faster a discus can spin, the longer it's gonna stay in the air. In order to be able to spin the discus faster revolutions per second, if it has a higher, heavier rim weight and you can apply the force, that discus has the potential to spin much harder, much faster, more revolutions per second equals bigger distance in your throws. Now, here's the trick. When you're a young thrower, you're not going to be able to a uh, high rim weight discus. If you're a 130 foot discus thrower, throwing a 78 meter Nelco rated, you know, heavy spin discus is not going to be beneficial. That 130, 40 foot discus thrower is actually going to throw better with say a super spin, like an 80% kind of a 60 some meter rated discus, or even that low spin discus, because the way the weight's distributed and their skill level allows them to apply force, that lower rim weight discus discus is actually going to translate to bigger throws because the weight distribution is going to be better for a thrower that can throw a shorter distance. So that's a very key variable. Now, here's another variable. If you have wind, one of the true variables of throwing the discus is flying and implement, right? You have to understand the aerodynamics and that is a real skill. Knowing how to place a discus in the sector and knowing how to spin it and again, being able to gauge if you've got super windy conditions, a lot of times that higher rim weight discus is going to be better and sometimes when it's not as windy or it's not a favorable wind you're going to be better off throwing with a lower rim weight or a lower rated discus like in this case maybe you're going to be better with the 67 meter or the 70 meter versus the 75 or the 78 meter and what you're going to notice is is that most pro throwers are taking 80 mid 80 percent 80 85 to 90 plus percent rim weights and they're taking usually an 80 something range and they're taking something that's higher so in the case of the nelcos what we'd be looking at is Jason Harrell's perfect example. He'll be taking his probably his 70, 75, and a 78. And he's going to do that based on wind conditions. We have a tailwind, a crosswind, a headwind. We have the perfect right quartering wind for a right-handed thrower. Those are the sorts of elements that we're going to look at. So then we're going to want to take that higher rim weight discus. When you're throwing the one kilo and the one six, and you're looking at the challenger, the low spin, or the super spin, it's the same kind of principle. So you really want to have all in your arsenal. And so this would be kind of the first rated 
and pack I would recommend would be two challengers, a low spin and a super spin. Or I would go with a challenger, two low spins and a super spin, right? That's your pack B. And then your pack C would be, you know, two low spin and two super spin. So if you're a thrower who's already thrown and you're younger, but let's just say you're throwing 130 feet. If a girl, I would go with a super spin. If you're a guy, I would go with the low and the super. And then if you're a beginning, say a youth thrower and you're throwing 80, 90 feet, you know, up to maybe 115 feet, either implement size, the challenger and the low spin. But I like the range. You throw 90 feet, the disc is going to skip another 15 to 20. You're going to be walking, you know, 250 feet essentially just to get your disc. So it makes more sense to walk out there, grab four discs and come back because you're going to spend so much more time training. Really important for schools. They see so many schools and they get 10 discuses and they have like 12 athletes out throwing. There's just not enough discs. You need four. If you have 10 athletes, you need 40 implement. Every athlete should have four discs because you're going to get so many more reps in. And that's something we'll talk about in another video. So once a month, we're going to give away a free Nelco discus. You just simply got to click the link, fill in your name and information, your email, comment below that you did so. Got any questions? Thanks so much. Hopefully it's helpful. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and we will see you on the next video. Take care.